Hello everybody, it's Friday, that means it's time for another Topic of the Week. Last week's topic on your favorite Warhammer IP uh, usage was great. Um, some good responses linked in the last video. Um, special shout out to Hooves, because he has uh, Hooves of Doom, who has an amazing amount of knowledge of all of the IP usage, and talked about Black Library and just a lot of other games and other things it's been used on. Um, but there was also some great discussion in the comments, and uh, I'm glad to hear that many people enjoyed uh, the little story of, of Pickles. Uh, Pickles was a lot of fun for me. We ran a group with Care Bears as well, all named after the various Care Bears, Love a Lot Bear and whatnot. Um, you, you don't know fun in life until you've murdered a bunch of people uh, all named after Care Bears. Um, so, it's, it's fun. At any rate, let's turn to this week's topic of the week. So, this week's topic. Um, I was working on some some figures for upcoming projects, and I realized something when I when I came to this miniature right here. So I don't know if you can see what that is. It's the uh, Cloud Giant from Reaper Bones. She's converted, obviously. Over, we're doing some work on her. Um, she's gonna be fun, but um, she Cloud Giant, Frost Giant. I don't know. She's some kind of giant. It's not relevant. Anyways, um, as I was, it sort of got me thinking, and then I had a conversation with Tyler Emerson and uh, Scrubby and Wells on Twitter, and we were just kind of talking about uh, female figures, and I was, uh, we were both kind of lamenting the lack of female figures available for a lot of the ranges in the modern Warhammer line. When I look back last year at sort of my list of where I hoped things went in the next year, they've succeeded in nailing most of the things, that is to say Games Workshop, has succeeded in nailing most of the things I wanted. They came out with a more formalized sort of system for people to play in, so people could play in the style they wanted. Um, there's a lot more communication, more videos, um, more people have become sort of they become more interactive with the community, and, and they have face men like Duncan who um, people can humanize and interact with and who are really nice and, and uh, do a lot of great things at tournaments and Warmer World. Those are all good steps. But there was one thing I mentioned, and that was more female warriors, figures. And this is a place where I feel like Games Workshop is still just, just miles behind the curve. When I look around at the other major miniature games right now. When I look at like War Machine and Hordes, I see lots of female masters. I see a huge female presence. Um, you know, I play Malifaux a lot and have have several Malifaux crews built up across the different factions. And uh, there again, I have a ton of options. There's lots of female masters and henchmen and enforcers and minions all throughout the, the sort of uh, place of the game. Um, you can even, as I like to do, build whole, whole crews and only pick the female models. Um, you know, there's... Uh, I, I, and I don't, I don't think... I don't think I'm being weird by saying I enjoy painting female models more than, than male. I don't have anything in my head that's weird about it. It's just, I don't know. I enjoy the aesthetic more. And in talking to... You know, Jessica Rich, who's an amazing miniature painter, she painted Goldfish Dreams, which I covered in a, a hobby cheating video at one point in the past. I was lucky enough to take a couple classes with her at, at Nova. Um, you know, she ran a class there called Painting Hot Chicks. Um, a lot of miniature painters just prefer, like especially competition level, just prefer painting female miniatures for their competition pieces, just because the, the nature of it is often more aesthetically pleasing. Um, but beyond that concern, I would love to see more female representation across m many of the armies. Um, just integrated. It doesn't, and I'm not looking for like, I'm not trying to start a discussion about they need to be not bikini clad or they need to be in full armor or whatever. The answer, my, my general answer to that is yes. I would just like them to be represented. I'm not picky about how. Um, you know, we I've talked a lot about the Toughest Girls in the Galaxy 2 Kickstarter, and obviously some of that is, has been delivered. I went all in for that for the Sisters of Battle, which is like their, or Battle Sisters, or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's the one that's the equivalent of the, the old 40K sort of uh, Sisters Army 
and I went for the fantasy version. I don't even know what I'm going to use them for, for sure. I just know I love them, and most of them are extremely heavily armor clad. Um, so my concern here isn't to get into the nitty gritty of like how female are portrayed in miniatures because I don't know that there is a right answer to that. It's whatever the narrative demands is fine with me ultimately. Um, realistic warriors and full armor and running around scantily clad, just the full range. I mean, the same thing we don't think about with male figures, I would say. Um, like I've got male figures that are running around in basically loincloths and I've got dudes running around in, you know, full plate that you can see like zero skin on. Fine with both. It can be normal armor, it can be, you know, armor that's more shapely of the female form, all that. I'd just love to see more representation of it. Um, we've seen Games Workshop being more sort of inclusive in their paint schemes when it comes to ethnicity, but yet I still don't have the different sculpts. Um, and, and that's a, you know, this is the kind of thing that you could even solve through Forge World. Um, there's a company called Statuesque that makes alternate female heads that you can just put on regular, say, Space Marines or Troopers um, in full armor. Because in the end, it doesn't really matter. If, like, you could put female heads onto Stormcast bodies and it would still look fine, I would suspect. Um, just because that big suit of armor is going to cover up anything underneath. Um, but I'd like to see them go farther. Um, and there's plenty of armies where this is possible. I'm, I'm really hoping that whenever we get some kind of relaunch of elves, because elves have always been the one that sort of had the most um, female troops. And when you look at like a lot of the archer units or um, the glade guard, um, they they were just sort of intermixed. When you bought the torsos, there was some girls, some guys just kind of mixed in, no big deal. Um, but then you also had fully female units like the sisters of Avalon or the sisters of slaughter or the witch elves or whatever. Again, all cool. But now that we have this new age of the mortal realms, as we get, say, the Devoted of Sigmar, as we get all these things. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some armies where it's just not going to matter. You know, I'm working on Sylvaneth. Well, okay, those are trees. I mean, the Dryads have a roughly female form in some cases. Cool. Um, that's fine. I, You know, whatever. They're, they're all mostly trees. I'm not sure they are, a, by necessity, a him or a her. Um, but when it comes to things that are roughly human or human-esque um i think it'd be cool but i don't know if i'm alone on that um what do you think that's this week's topic um do you want to see more female miniatures in the upcoming lines over the next say one to two years coming out of games workshop and you know do does it matter to you at all do you value it do, does it when you look at a game like malifaux or Infinity has a huge, again, same thing, huge representation of female warriors and soldiers and blah, 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 all throughout, or, or War Machine hordes. Does it make a difference to you? Do you even notice when you look at that and see that? Um, I know I do, but I don't know if I'm weird or alone. So that's this week's topic. Uh, female miniatures from Games Workshop. Why are they so far behind the curve? Do you want to see more? Does it matter to you? I'm very interested in your response to this. I know it's something I'd enjoy. It's It's just certainly the the thing i enjoy painting more um but i don't know if i'm alone so there we go as always video responses will be linked down below uh so or of course discuss it in the comments i always love to see that as well if you've got thoughts on this put it down there always respond to every comment thank you very much everybody uh if you want to see last week's topic don't forget that's linked down there too so check that out but as always we'll see you next time